joining me for another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! I have gone and purchased another fake ball jointed doll from AliExpress. I don't agree with these things and people are going to say, well that's very hypocritical because you brought it anyway. Excellent point. You're exactly right. Read the description below. I know that these videos, there are two sides of the fence. There does not seem to be really any middle ground. Um, either you say, look, I can't afford the real thing and I'm going to buy the fakes. Um, I've seen a lot of people say on their videos, so I don't care what other people think, which I think is really mean um, considering the hobby. Again, I explain below why. And I've seen people on the other side who are saying, you know, just because it's a very expensive hobby, you shouldn't be included and it really hurts the hobby, um, especially when artists give up and they leave the profession. I'm more, I'm kind of more on this side, but I'm kind of here. For me, fake dolls are going to stay. There is nothing that we can really do to stop it happening. This purchase was out of morbid curiosity. And the full set, including the outfit, well, free shipping was $167 New Zealand. So I have a conversion down here, which is a lot cheaper than the official doll. Well, I've opened her up and looked at her, and you're going to see her with me now. This, when you look at this doll in here, and this doll was not crafted by their artists, was not made with all the time and effort put into sculpting with the love, the um, stealing the artist's design, you know, etc. This doll was basically a stolen doll which they can then throw in a machine and do whatever they do and pop out some dolls. It's actually pretty good. So I'm going to bring it out and this is why this is really hurting the ball jointed doll profession. Okay, so we'll open it up. There was all this bubble wrap and wrapping. So any official doll that you're going to buy does not come in some really rickety looking box um, that looks absolutely shockingly terrible <laughs> like this with just some bubble wrap wrapped around it. You know, when you've brought official dolls, they come in their beautiful boxes. They come with certificates, with cards. Um, they're usually on, the ones I've brought are on these, you know, satiny like pillows. It's all done in such a beautiful way. It's it's truly lovely. So, um, <laughs> this is how she arrived with some wrapping around here. So first I'm going to bring out her. Now I don't have an official doll Pam to compare her in size to. Usually um, stolen molds either make the mold bigger or smaller than the actual official product. So we'll bring her out. She has a little spaceman helmet on there. We have the cat ears and tail that come with her. We have a wig which, you know, sometimes when you're buying wigs, wigs can be $30 to $40. This, and, and then the outfit. So this is all $167 New Zealand. I was just, I was like, how can the artists survive when they're doing this? They can't. They just give up, basically. All right, so we've got some doll, uh, some shoes and socks. We have, what is this? Silent conveyance love. Okay, so you know that's a really good show that you've got something basically that they're just copying when it doesn't make sense. Silence, silent conveyance love, SDBJD. There's um, a QR code down there, and then a certificate of authenticity, which doesn't have anything written on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's a big sign there. I am really, really surprised at the amount of people um, are not don't want to speak about their intelligence who think they have something authentic when they see that. It's unbelievable. Um, the only, the only love for BJD. Okay, so this is the only way you can love them. Okay, so notes to the owner. It's basically a way to look after them. It should actually say. Um, uh, tips to care for your doll or how to care for your doll or something like that. So we've got this We then have this which I think comes stock with all of their um, Copies I've seen this in some other openings. It's basically how to put the wigs on and whatnot It's uh, standard with the stores thing 
I am not going to put the store down the bottom. I'm going to keep the official doll Pam one down there so you can see the actual dolls. This I'm not sure. I think oh I think this was wrapped around the shoes. We then have like a no oh, that's attached to that. So we have one of these magic markers um razors which you can use to clean your doll with marks and stuff like this. It's a very very fine sandpaper. Um I've spoken in other videos about micro meshing which a lot of people don't do because the micro mesh is is um quite expensive but it is the way to get cuts out of marks out of your doll really really well or out of a second hand doll especially well. You have the outfit and then I think this was actually around the wig as well. So that was everything that's in there. So let's get to it and bring up the doll. Here is Mochi uh, with her spaceman helmet off. I'm going to pull this off. First thing I'm going to say is the plastic is really good quality. The, um, it's really good. She's actually very, very heavy. Then there is a looking at her seam lines. I was expecting, quite honestly, for the price, something with a lot of burrs, a lot of issues, a lot of shine marks. I, I can't see it. I honestly, I've been over with her. Now, if you were buying an official product, you would have either a silver or a gold in there. You can see the magnets for where her ears attach. And if you look down here, here is her face up. Now one thing that I've noticed with AliExpress fakes, I don't know if all of them get sealed because I've had an AliExpress doll where just a tiny little knit took all the face up off. It had not actually been sealed. So I don't know if they just put the face ups on and then they leave it. But if you look, now I don't have an official doll Pam to, um, to compare this with. And when I looked, there was very, very few Doll Pam videos, which I actually find um, sad because they are such so quirky and so different. But when I look at this face up, this face up is pretty good. I, I can't really fault it. I can't honestly say, sit here and be one of those people who says, oh, it's terrible. I don't like it because, you know, it's a fake doll and you can get so much better from the official ones. To be honest, if I didn't know that this was a fake one, I would be like, wow, this looks so cool, you know? <laughs> it's really well done. She has delicate under eyelashes. You can see one of the quirkiness with this doll is that the eyes are in a very unique shape. I love, love, love the apricot eyeshadow on the top of the lid and just underneath. She has real eyelashes with a thick eyeliner. And then again, her eyebrows are done really well. And one thing with um, Mochi is she has like this fang off to the side because they are based, they are like um, based on animals, animal people. So she has a little fang to the side and she is a singer. Now looking down to the body, you'll see there isn't, I honestly was expecting this to be like terrible sanding, it just to be terribly cast, it to be not strung well, etc. And again, I I really can't say that because it is done well. So that's the side of her body. That's her chest area. She's quite perky. <laughs> we have an elbow joint. Of course, the BJD it has lots of posability. One thing with the stringing is the stringing is quite, quite tight. So, you know, she is going to ninja kick you or whack you in the face if you're not careful. But honestly for the price. Her hands, I love animated hands, so you can see they're sprayed out on each side because she is singing to the crowd. We come down, we have the mid area movement here, so you can rotate the mid area. You can't really move it back and forward, it's more for rotation I find. Coming down here to her belly button and her bottom around here, you will see that she has a magnet and that is where you attach her kitty cat tail. Okay, so I've brought the camera down and I've grabbed the um, pieces out. We are going to dress her and have a look at her outfit. We're going to start off first off with the animal pieces. 
And you know, all these pieces, when you're buying a BJD from an artist, generally you always pay more, a little bit more for the extras. You know, if you want the tail, you can pay such and such to get it. Um, if you want ears for it, you pay such and such to get it. There are doll artists that work that way. But this all came included. So we've got a couple of very fluffy cat ears, which we're going to put onto a head. Let's see how strong the magnets are. Pretty strong. Yep, there's no problem with that. They, they pulled out of my hands to go together. So there are her little cat ears. We'll keep her up here as we get the tail. Now, from memory, I can't remember who it was, but I know there's a doll Pam cat that comes with like a tail that has like a head or something on the end. I can't remember to be quite honest. Um, this one is just the standard cat. Oop. <laughs> it's focusing on something in the background there. So her tail goes out that way. I tend to find tails on um, ball jointed dolls annoying because when you're trying to stand them with a stand, this kind of gets in the way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks it looks cute. There's there's no doubt about it. It looks cute. So next we'll have a look at the socks and the shoes. So the shoes are flat. Now I'm going to say this with the shoes. Um, there is a big difference between the official ball jointed doll shoes you buy and these really cheap AliExpress ones. Um, I found the AliExpress ones. They're, 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 you know, it's good enough. But um, when some of the ones I've brought, they have like little strings coming off them. They're not as neat and tidy. This one's got little strings coming off them and all that sort of stuff. But again, for the price with the doll, I don't care. It, it <laughs> It's one of those things where it's like, well, whatever. So we've got a pair of little sh um, socks and we've got a pair of shoes. I'll put those on here and we'll have a look at the dress. Okay, so here is the dress. Again, it's not done as well as I would expect from, you know, some of the doll companies I've brought expensive official clothing from. There are strings hanging out, but for the price. Um, there is no overlooking on any of the settings. Um, <laughs> the tail area is going to be a bit suspect to be quite honest. I don't think this tail area is. There is bad setting down here. You can see that the ribbon has just pulled out here and it's all fraying. That I would be I would be sending off to the you know the official company and saying hey give me a send a replacement ASAP. You can send as I said it's not overlocked it's not finished but again it, it looks okay for the price you pay. It's not really something to complain about. And then she has her little armbands here which have little clips at the end to put them on so that'll be interesting. I'm going to bring the camera down and we're going to dress her to see if the outfit fits well but before we do that I'll look at the last piece which is the wig which I'm going to put this out here. I just spent, whoops, never wants to get in, my camera does not want to, to focus today for me. Um, I just spent $30 on a wig for one of my other dolls really upsets me because I it almost makes me like tempted I can get an entire doll with a wig and all these pieces if I spend a little more you know the wig was pretty much $30 for something like this which is why I'm so upset so the wig itself is actually made okay I had a look at this when it came out and this is why I got upset um there isn't much pulling coming off on it, which I was really surprised. I was expecting chunks to come out. It, the wig is okay sewing. Um, at the front, one thing that, with it is you can see a little bit through there. Can you see that? That irritates me. I know that'll irritate fussy people, but for the price, honestly. So she has this lovely blonde wave wig, which is pretty thick to be honest. If you go through here, look, Look, still going through, still going through, still going. There we go. We get into the wave. So, uh, to the um, wig base. Really, the only thing with it is the small pull here, which may cover itself when the doll comes on. Maybe it'll look terrible when it goes on the doll. Let's get down and dress it. Okay, so uh, the first thing to put on is the dress. Uh, get that out of the way. These are actually really handy, by the way. Keep these. There's so many uses for those. <laughs> if you're new to the hobby, don't throw out the doll wigs. 
um, the doll wig covers. You may always need more. Um, okay, put that over there. Pull it up. Ooh, this is gonna be a bit of a stretch, darling. We got those thunder thighs and those robust buttocks. Oh, 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 like a pop star, she's kind of like putting pork in a sausage, ain't it? <laughs> All right, this might split. So if that's the case, <laughs> I don't know. This will be interesting because I am trying to pull in a way that is not going to break the dress. The doll can take a bit of a hammering. Her plastic's actually really, really heavy and really well. Oh, look at that, darling. <laughs> it's like when you start getting into your 30s and you try and fit into something you fit it into in your 20s and you're saying it will, but it doesn't. Oh. Her leg just went for a pop there. Well, I don't want it getting caught in the seam. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Let's move that out so we can get it over. Did we get it over? Is it over? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that last pop <laughs> rides right up her her areas there. Whoo, that ain't, a, that ain't gonna be comfortable, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna not be comfortable. Okay, so uh, I don't have an official doll, so I don't know exactly how this is meant to sit in here. From the other one, it seems to suggest that that's meant to go into there. And then we'll now yeah, we'll have a jink and a jink with that soon. Yeah, the crotch area is um, a little suspect, to be quite honest. <laughs> um, I imagine when you get. The official doll it does not in any way sit like that I imagine it sits quite nicely down the um, middle there but that is that is a bit suspect all right let's get her hand through unlike smart dolls on these strung dolls though you can pull them apart technically I do not like pulling them apart to put certain things on and um, you can't you do have the ability to you know pull the joints and, and hopefully not loosen the string too much so we got it on <laughs> it looks it does look nice you know I'm, I'm not gonna lie it does look nice it's just very very saddening because um I can understand the controversy given it there is one thing that's wrong with the dress because this is probably you know taken off the official dress and they've had to do a little bit of guesswork rather than actually knowing the dimensions of the doll which I'm sure the artists know very well the area here does not fit well it is riding up to a smaller area while pulling on here and causing all of this in the middle to basically go now this is meant to be nice and straight and flat like a pop dress so that the tail can fit into the magnet here sorry I haven't got it in the center but um yeah the seamstress is a little off and <laughs> I think that if I pull that down there that that is eventually going to split it's just gonna go and the whole dress will be ruined so we've got all these little things that hang off the dress which are really really cute I love 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 these little um, clovers hanging off the dress with this chain that's extremely cute I imagine the official one is gorgeous we have that on we have the socks on now the armbands Let okay so next is the armbands which are meant to wrap around her arms I'm not entirely sure how I'm meant to do this I'm assuming I've got to finish at the top of the arm with these clips being behind it doesn't make sense if I do it like that oh hang on it seems to suggest on the picture that they go forward it's going to be a bit fun and then around and then they go around the last time yeah around the last time here and clip at the back it doesn't it's not doing exactly what the picture says but it reached going around all those times it suggests so like that so that one on there is good oh no hang on when we move the hand arm down the way we want it comes to the front so we're gonna do some wriggling wriggle 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 girl look at that body um okay nice I don't like the finish on the back look at that ew <laughs> this big 
lip just sticking out there but that's okay from the front it looks okay we'll try on this arm see if it goes the same way we've got to get in the middle here uh, wrap it around and you go around in a crisscross ah wrap around in a crisscross and then it's meant to go around one more time to go around one more time why is my thing oh um i've done something here which is that's my bad and then i'm not going to say i mean it's bad and that it's a fake but i'm not going to say something's bad just for the sake of saying something's bad because sometimes fakes are just as good as the real thing so okay we've got it here let's move that in products and uh yeah this is there we go. Okay, we've got our crisscrosses down the other side. Putting on the tail, I don't think it's going to stay. The magnet on the tail doesn't feel as strong as the ears. And this is constantly going to ride up and push it. Oh, I'm giving it a whack. Well, I stand corrected. It's Even though it's riding up, the magnets are still holding each other. They're holding each other on a diagonal. So that's happening uh, okay the shoes are easy peasy I'll get those on and we'll move on to the wig okay I've got mochi up here let's take her ears off I shouldn't call her mochi you are not mochi you are a fake mochi we need to come up with a name for you you know what is a really good alternate word I love alternate words on a lot of my videos if you actually go through my descriptions I put on cool words for learning and quotes um, I've been doing that recently because I love awesome words um, maybe I'll find a nice name for her and I'll put it down below if I find her name I'll have it down here but you can also suggest names something that means uh, fake not quite real you know pretending Oof. Okay, so when I put doll wigs on, my thing is you always pull down to the ears. It's the easiest way. I've had so many doll wigs I have problems with. So you just get to the side. People say you do this, you do the pop technique. I've done the pop technique. I used to use that one. But um, honestly, I just pull to the ears now. There is her hair. We'll get a little fine tooth comb. I had sitting around from um, my poopsie rainbows. It all brushed out. It looks fantastic. It, I love this wig. Honestly, <laughs> the wig is a huge take. Like I said, I just brought a doll wig for thirty dollars, and all up, I paid what one hundred and sixty-seven New Zealand for her. Oh my goodness! It just make it makes you wonder, eh? And she's got a face up, and she's got an outfit, and all these sorts of things. Um, okay. And she's got her additional things. So once the wig is on and sat down, let's see how... I'm pretty sure the magnets are... Yeah, the magnets are very strong on the head. And that is who she is. So this is an AliExpress fake doll Pam mochi, which um, cost me $167 all up. Um, what can I say other than... You can understand how this really hurts the hobby and really hurts the artists. This is, if I didn't know it was a fake and someone gave it as a present to me, I'd be saying, what a gorgeous doll. I'm probably going to, um, you know, get the old spray paint and the shh and the pastels and get the ears all printed, you know, all done there so her ears are done. Um, you wouldn't know any different. It's very, very good quality. Um, there are small things that are telltale signs, such as not having the right certificates, not having the thing on her head. That's a doll Pam. Um, probably the size, if I had an official one to look at, the size will either be bigger or smaller, generally. Um, the outfit, the terrible measurements on the bottom half of the outfit is a telltale sign, but really, it's a pretty doll, and I can't say it isn't. Looking at her up close here, I mean, give me your comments. Um, try not to fight with each other. Um, in my previous videos, I don't mind the comments directed at me. You can say what you want. You can call me hypocritical for buying a fake doll. 100% true. 100% agree with you. You can say it's a little selfish to buy a fake doll. 100% true. 100% agree with you. If I could press a button and eliminate fake ball-jointed dolls from 
this system. Oh wait. <laughs> These dolls are nice, but they shouldn't exist. And if you know anyone who has a doll Pam rabbit girl that's discontinued and isn't going to charge me $500 more or whatever it was um, to get her just because she's discontinued, <laughs> let me know. Uh, if you love fake doll reviews, um, <laughs> give this a thumbs up. If you don't like fake dolls, you know, give it the other way down. One thing that I found interesting was some um, in some forums and some BJD forums, they're like, if we find fake doll reviews, let's make a party that everybody down votes the video. That doesn't help. In the YouTube algorithm, a downvote gives as much um, gives activity on a video, and that's what counts. Okay, the best thing that you can do to bury a video is not do anything on it. So, you know, control your emotions, have a discussion, and have a valuable discussion. And rather than arguing with me, because I completely agree with that these shouldn't exist, but I don't know how on earth anyone is going to get China to make them not exist, um, spread the word down below. It, you know, if you know an artist who's gone out of the collecting, if you yourself left collecting um, because of this, when people say things, or when, my biggest gripe is when people equate something like this to something like, oh, Tuesday's wigs come off again, um, to something like this. That doesn't make you a, this doesn't, in my opinion, make you a ball jointed doll collector. This is a large, made to move Barbie with terrible plastic. Um, <laughs> that is my biggest gripe with um, the AliExpress BJDs at the moment. Um, this stuff here, what can I say? She's very cheap. She's a beautiful doll. She's stolen. <laughs>